Grand Prix night. This prompt statement for the ODE has y double prime plus 4y equals 3 times the cosine of 2t. Now, y of t can be constructed to equal y homogeneous to t when this ODE equals 0. This y particular of t are guess for the forcing function solution. By homogeneous of t, we can assume to be some constant a times e to the rt. Success of derivatives of this yields us by homogeneous prime of t, which equals a r e to the rt, y h double prime of t, which equals a r squared e to the rt. Plugging this into the, uh, the original equation, we have a r squared e to the rt plus a e to the rt equals zero. Now we can cancel out e to the rt and a in this expression because we can assume that neither a nor e to the rt are zero. This leads to the trivial solution. That's not what we're solving for. So now we have r squared plus 1 equals 0. Solving this, we have r equal to plus or minus i. Two i. Sorry about that. Did some math wrong. So now we have y homogeneous of t equal to a e to the 2i t plus b e to the minus 2i t. Now time for y particular. y particular will assume to be, original, first we'll assume it to be the mul uh, c times the cosine of 2t plus d times the sine of 2t. Later on we'll see this is an erroneous assumption and because of that, we will have to change our particular guess by some certain time t. But first, let's work this out and see why this doesn't work. The success of derivatives of this yields us a particular prime of t, which equals minus 2c times the sine of 2t plus 2d times the cosine of 2t. Y double prime p of t, which equals minus 4c times the cosine of 2t, minus 4d times the sine of 2t. Plug this in to the expression for our ODE above. We have minus 4c times the cosine of 2t, minus 4d times the sine of 2t, plus 4c times the cosine of 2t, plus 4d, times the sine of 2t, which equals 3 times the cosine of 2t. Now, there's a problem with this expression. Once you add up all these terms, you get 0 on the left-hand side, which equals 3 times the cosine of 2t. Now this is a false statement, and because of that, we know that our guess failed. We therefore have to re-choose what our particular guess has to be. If we were to do that, we have to multiply it by some t. Differentiate it from our particular, our homogeneous solution. If you look at our homogeneous solution, you can see that there are two exponentials raised to the imaginary power. And an exponential raised to a complex argument yields cosines and sines. And because of that, and because there is a 2 up there as well, it matches the argument of the cosine in the forcing function. 
that has to that makes us change our particular guess by some certainty. So now we have a new y particular solution. Y particular of t equal the same that we had before for y particular, except multiply by some constant t. y prime, y particular of t equals c t times the cosine of 2t plus dt times the sine of 2t. So that's the derivatives of this function yields for our prime particular of t which equals c times the cosine of 2t minus 2t times sine of 2t plus d times sine of 2t plus 2t times the cosine of 2t. Another derivative yields our particular double prime of t which equals c times minus 2 sine of 2t minus 2 times the sine of 2t plus 4t times the cosine of 2t. Plus d times 2 times the cosine of 2t plus 2 times the cosine of 2t minus 4t times the sine of 2t. Rewriting this expression, we have y particular double prime of t equals sine of 2t times minus 2c minus 2c minus 4td plus the cosine of 2t times 4tc plus 4d. Now plugging this into the expression above that we have for our ODE, we can get minus 4c sine of 2t minus 4t sine of 2t plus 4t c times the cosine of 2t plus 4d times the cosine of 2t plus 4t c times the cosine 2t plus 4t times sine 2t, which equals 3 times cosine 2t. Writing out these expressions, we can group all the terms together for cosine sine, sine t times sine 2t and t times cosine of 2t. Now, however, since we only have two unknowns, we only need two equations in order to solve for c and d. I will choose cosine of 2t and sine of 2t in order to solve for the constants of c. Now what I mean by choosing these, these terms in order to solve for constants is setting the constants in front of these terms on each side of the equation equal to each other. On the left hand side we have 4d equals 3 and minus 4c equals 0.
from this, we see that c equals 0 and d equals 3 fourths. Our optical solution is therefore 3 fourths t times the cosine of 2t. And therefore, lastly, our whole solution y of t equals a t to 2 i t plus b e to the minus 2 i t plus 3 fourths t times the I'm sorry, I completely screwed that up. This is a sine, not a cosine. 3 fourths t times the sine of 2t. This expression, when visually represented, will show you the concept of resonance. When the forcing frequency of the function, the forcing function, is equal to the natural frequency of the system. Where our r was 2, i, plus and minus. And because of that, you have energy buildup. This represents an energy buildup that would lead to a fatal failure in the system. But if you look up bridges collapsing because of wind, you'll see, you might find a video of an old bridge in the early 20th century just being blown about all over the place because of faulty construction. And the wind blew at a frequency that was similar enough to natural frequency that there was an energy buildup which showed with the bridge oscillating back and forth, up and down, and it eventually collapsing. 